Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Daniel here from Second Chance Love and this is my entry into the St. Patrick's Day collaboration that is being hosted by my friend Sherelle from Crafty Girl Down South. So on today's video I'm going to be taking you through my decor setup for my hutch setup at home which is going to be themed out in St. Patrick's Day. Now I had to really get very creative with this video because I didn't really have a lot of pieces for St. Patrick's Day so I really needed to think outside the box which worked out immensely perfect because I found so many things at home that definitely worked with my theme idea for St. Patrick's Day. So I wanted to keep it very um, farmhouse style, very simple and clean and just add a lot of touches of farmhouse decor that I had at home and it truly worked out the best for me. So right now you're checking out a shelf that I added on top of my hutch and I have a few mugs set up out there. Next, I love the glitter packs from Dollar Tree, the fillers, the vase fillers. They come in so handy and Dollar Tree always has amazing ones for the holidays. I did my two gumball canister machines with the gold coins and the gold glitter filler. I also was able to finally include my vintage scale which I got at an estate sale. It had touches of green as you can see so I definitely definitely had to think outside the box you guys to see what I could incorporate into my hutch because I did not want it to be empty just because I didn't have too much St. Patrick's Day decor but I definitely wanted to keep it in the theme of green and I just started grabbing a, a lot of items throughout my home that were green and that of course would work out in the design of my hutch. Next up I added my St. Patrick's Day canister which also is a thrift find. Now there was a crack on this canister which I had to get creative again and think of a way to cover up the crack imperfection. And what I did was it had already came with some ribbon tied on and I just simply grabbed one of those glitter fillers, uh, styrofoam fillers that came with it and glue, hot glued it onto the ribbon and cover up the little imperfection, which I definitely think it added a bit of character. Again, I had to get creative in thinking of what I could use to place into my hutch that had at least some touches of green. So I did grab this bowl, which I showcased in a haul, along with its partnered canister. When these are both um, have like a speckled polka dot look throughout, which really, really stands out in the hutch. And I just absolutely love adding these pieces because it definitely brought in more of that farmhouse feel. Next up, I have my Grow watering can that I also found thrifted. The best thing about this, you guys, is that mostly everything that you see in my hutch is going to be thrifted. And I think it's just going to look so cute on the corner. I'll add some greenery later that you guys will see. I also had this little like container that my hubby actually got. It says fresh sunflowers, but I simply just turned it over, which completely works for this whole look and placed it in the corner. So that's why it's always, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of money to decorate and you can find things at home that you can just reuse in a unique way. Next up are my Hobby Lobby 
stand-ups, which I think are so adorable. It will definitely bring in a touch of vintage feel to the hutch. And I have two, and then I just kind of played around what would be the best way to display them because they are so stinking adorable, you guys. I just absolutely love them and they're so cute. And they weren't that expensive too, which is the nice part. Coming up, I only have two Ray Dunn mugs that I found this year for St. Patrick's Day. I just absolutely love the green and I went ahead and placed them on the hutch at different levels. I thought this one would look strategic next to the actual gumball machine with the Dollar Tree gold coins that's inside. I just thought it would look cute next to that. And I added the St. Patty's Day mug at the top next to the other canister and the Hobby Lobby stand up. Now the bottom section, I didn't really do too much. I re-added my little cake stand that I got a few years ago from Target. And I decided to add my little fake pie that I showcased also in my Valentine's Day decor. And I figured it could be shepherd's pie, which is also something well known in Ireland for St. Patrick's Day. And I went ahead and also added the milk jug. I think it's just a cute touch next to the Hershey's milk chocolate tin can, just to add a little bit more farmhouse decor to the whole setup. And then thanks to my hubby who thrifted these Kerr jars, these were so perfect. I had found a grab bag of Christmas goodies and this made its way into the grab bag. I don't know why. But I went ahead and took them apart and added them um, all together into this Kerr jar. Now I did have a couple of those jars so I went ahead and filled in some of these with that filler and I just think it's so precious and pretty because it glitters in the light with all the shiny material that the filler is made out of. I also added a small cup of this with the um, chipped glass cup that I got at Dollar Tree. It's supposed to resemble like cracked glass, which I think is just absolutely stunning. And I added a few more there. Next, I added just a few more touches of greenery. I added these fake plants that I had gotten from Goodwill. I added some into another Kerr jar that I thought just would look really, really cute with them inside, kind of like to keep them in, like if you had like fresh greenery in your kitchen or some type of like um, green or mint or something like that in that sense, I wanted to do that in here. So I thought that looked very, very pretty in the jar next to the kitchen items. And I added a few more into the actual Ray Dunn watering can. just for some final touches into the whole setup of my hutch. I added this little towel as well into the bowl. I just thought it would add a lot more character and depth into the whole setup. And then I did add a few more items to the top of my hutch, like this vintage. It's not vintage, but it says vintage. It's a metal tin galvanized canister, which I thought was really precious. And then I added this hearth in hand, which again was also thrifted, you guys, including the vintage tin can. And I added just a little bit of greenery into the whole setup.
this concludes the end of this video guys i want to appreciate my friend sherelle from crafty girl down south for getting this all organized together for us to be able to do this collaboration for saint patrick's day let me know in the comments below what did you think about my hudge what stood out for you and let me know if you're decorating for saint patrick's day this year and definitely make sure to check out all the amazing friends who will be included in this collaboration as well. Go ahead and check them out. The playlist will be listed at the bottom of the description box so that you guys can go check out all the amazing people and check out what they did for this amazing collaboration. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I welcome you to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you're notified of all my weekly videos. And until next time, guys, have a wonderful weekend. Bye!